I think I was just scarred for life after I saw that one study. They found that in some individuals, there was an increase in serum DHT, which is an androgen, mm -hmm. and DHT is seen as the principal cause of hair loss. So, conclusion from that study would be, well, if it raises DHT, then you're going to lose hair. Well, there are a number of problems with that. For one, DHT levels remained in a normal range. It's not like it was some obscene increase or anything. Uh, second, no study has ever replicated this. There's no hormonal mechanism of creatine at all. N like, no research indicating it any hormonal effect. Mm -hmm. The increase was also relative to the control group, but if you look at the effects, it's not so much that the intervention group had like this massive increase in DHT. It actually seemed that the control group for some reason had a decrease, causing a significant difference between the groups for some reason. Mm -hmm. So it's not a strong study even in itself. And then on top of that, the DHT levels were measured in serum, so in your blood, and serum levels don't necessarily correspond with levels in any specific tissue. So we have to make the interpolation that it actually increases DHT, which is a leap, like that's not certain at all. If it increases serum DHT, it also increases DHT levels in the scalp. Then we have to still make the extrapolation that that actually causes hair loss. It's a very, very distant guess that there might be a slight acceleration of hair loss mm -hmm. with creatine. And there's no study that has actually reported hair loss from creatine. So I think it's widely, widely overblown.